Okay, good afternoon. Today I'm going to be discussing the prior day high low close lines and how to get those inside of Thinkorswim. I'm going to have this code for sale inside of my Etsy store. There's going to be a link in the video uh, description below. In a prior video, I talked about the basic lines you could do to, to get these lines plotted in the software. What this is, is this is a much more complete code that's going to solve a lot of the issues you're going to run into inside of the software. And it, uh, it's also mobile compatible. So you're going to have two codes. Uh, one is going to be some, one designed for the software and it's going to use aggregation period method. And then the second, uh, because aggregation method does not work on mobile, uh, I've had to rewrite the code to avoid using aggregation period. Now, so you'll get that, you'll get both those codes, and you'll put the, the mobile inside of your uh, mobile phone if you use that, and it'll work there. You can also use the mobile code inside of the software. Um, it's a little more complex, though I just recommend using the desktop. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, talk about uh, what all it does. And so if you watch the pre-market high-low video that's on my channel, I also have uh, lines to do this for pre-market high and low. This will sound familiar, but just to go, go over where we're at in a series of codes here. So we've done the pre-market high and low. Today we're going to be talking about the prior day high low and close. And then in future uh, videos, we're going to be talking about percent levels, 52-week high low, Z-score, uh, normal distribution, and uh, some other stuff. What this code works on, it's designed to work on stocks uh, that stocks trade within 4 a.m. to 9.30 is the pre-market, 9.30 to 4 p.m. is the regular trading session, and then 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. is the post-market. There are things that are open 24 hours a day, and, and this code does not work on those. So it's going to be cryptos. Uh, I believe futures and commodities stay open 24 hours a day. Um, so stuff like that, anything that's open all the time is not going to work. Uh, also ETFs, it generally works on ETFs. However, I have noticed that in the software, sometimes in Thinkorswim, it will uh, have data for like a Sunday. I don't know if some of the ETFs open on Sunday or uh, if that's just an issue with Thinkorswim. But so, so I, I put a caution mark there. You have to be careful. But generally it works. I trade, um, look at the SPY and, and trade that and you know, it works fine on that most of the time. So. so this code is designed to solve three issues. The first is not wanting to draw the lines on the chart every day. You're wanting to just sit down, type in the code, have it plot automatically. Uh, it also solves it to where um, you can control when you see it. In the, the time period that you see it. So um, if you don't want it uh, plotting in the post market, you don't need to plot it. You can tell it, I don't want it to post in the plot in the post market, and it won't do that. It also answers um, how do I structure the code so that uh, it doesn't shrink the bar so small that I'm not able to see the price movement. <clears throat> So here are some examples of uh, this code in action. We'll get there in a minute, but let's um, get into the software here. <clears throat> so as I explained in the pre-market video, the, um, the bit, I'll just go over the, the inputs here and uh, talk about them. <clears throat> okay, so we have down here, we can turn on the the high low close lines just with the click of a button here. So if I wanted to not see the, the high, I just want to see the low and the close. Basically the high there. Also if I do if I wanted to so right here I have it on pre-market hour visibility, regular hour visibility, and then I say no for the post market. So if you want to see the post market though you come down here and just turn that and it shows it in the post market. So it has those functionalities. You can turn the lines on and off. You can turn time periods on and off. 
And then these up here have to do with um, the zoom and the bars getting scrunched. So uh, like I explained in the pre-market video, I encourage you to watch that if you haven't. But um, what, what will happen is I, I trade on the flexible grid. And so my uh, software is running a little laggy today. So I'll pause the video here. Okay, so these have loaded, and uh, you can see that um, if I had, it's, it's doing pretty good now because I got it set up. But uh, if I had all of these lines on, it would scrunch them down pretty small, and it's sort of doing it here. You can sort of see that the bars are all scrunched in this little area here. Um, but what what's happening is I'm having it erase the line as it moves further away from that line. So. When I come to zoom in, let's say I want to zoom in down here, I gotta do this. It's gonna zoom in completely to those candles, and I can see those candles relatively well. Versus, let's come in here and turn that functionality off. Okay, now these lines are plotting up here. And so when I go to zoom in here, you can see it's all scrunched up on the bottom here and very difficult to see the price movement. So that's what these three boxes up here do. Uh, let's see. So if you wanna, if you don't wanna see, you always wanna see the lines, you would turn this first box to no. But if you did want to see, uh, have it erase as it moves uh, further away from the line, you would turn this to yes, and then you could set the percent threshold that you want it to disappear at. So um, I keep it at one and a half, and that's been working pretty good. But there are some stocks where I have to increase it to two and a half, three and a half to, to see the line. Um, and then this down here, <clears throat> so you have the option if you want to just completely erase it from the chart. So this, so uh, the line would just completely disappear when it exceeds that one and a half percent threshold. You can choose that one, or if you just want to do do it on a candle by candle basis, you would choose this one. And that's what I keep it on because this allows me to still zoom in and see the price movement, while also when I zoom out, I can see where that line's at. So I can see the closes right here, and then I can zoom in real quickly, see that price movement double click back out. It's just a real quick and easy way to, to get data um, without having to uh, sacrifice the, the zoom and, and such. So let's go into the mobile, which is also going to be available. Now the mobile, <clears throat> I'm planning to include both of these codes together uh, into one package. Um, I think that's the easiest thing to do. But if you just want to purchase one or the other, please let me know. Uh, all right, let's choose this one right here. Now, like I say, I've had to rewrite the code to work on mobile. And so there are some things that are not available in the mobile. And so we'll go in here. And so you can see that erase from candle, erase from chart box is no longer there. And uh, that's because we're, we're not able to use erase from chart completely on the mobile because it uses the aggregation period and the aggregation period is unavailable. So we have to do it on a candle by candle basis on the phone. But like I say, that's how I use it. So I find it to be not a problem. Um, that's one thing that's not available on the mobile code. And let's see, what is the other thing? The other thing is very minor thing, um, another thing that doesn't affect me, but show we have show only last period. And so what this does is uh, self-explanatory. If you have this yes, it's only gonna show you the, the, the day, the last day, the current day, and it will erase it from all the prior days. Um, generally though, I keep this on no, because I, I like to see where those levels were in prior days. Um, and if you're trading on a one minute chart and you have like a day or two days, you know, 
it's only going to be plotting for those two days, so it's not going to take up that much data. So uh, in here you can't do that, so you're not able to turn that at all. But like I say, it, it's no effect for me. So um, those are the minor differences between the codes. Other than that, though, they work the exact same way. <clears throat> and inside mobile, uh, if, if uh, anyone needs assistance in getting set up in mobile, please let me know. Um, so I have no clue how to record my phone on my computer, so I uh, won't dig into that until necessary. But um, pretty self-intuitive. Uh, you go into the app, you, you put the, the study on, and then it, it works pretty well. You, just, you adjust that percentage as needed. So a couple of pictures here just from the day of how this works. So <clears throat> you can see here, it rejected right here on the close, the prior day clothesline. Came down, came down, found support on the prior day. Uh, I don't know if it found support. I don't know if I'd say it found support here. It could have been like the pre-market low down here or something. But um, you can definitely see it sort of indicated that you know we're getting close to the bottom here. And sometimes it will bounce off off that line. Sometimes it won't. You know, you just never know. Comes back up, hits the prior day close and you know, rejects there down. So you can see how this works um, up there. And then on a more detailed chart here, we can see the, the ebb and flow. It's bouncing right off this prior, prior day of, <clears throat> excuse me, prior day low here. Bounces off once, comes down, bounces off twice. So, uh, when you trade with this, you see this happening all the time. And so this can really help you in determining when the price action is going to reverse and uh, help with the trading. I know it does helps with mine. So this is going to be available in the Etsy store. Um, just a couple basic disclaimers, not financial advice. Um, that these indicators aren't going to work 100% of the time. And I am not employed or affiliated with TD Ameritrade. Um, also, I ask you please don't share or resell the crux of the code. So if you take the code and, and look it over and learn from it and, and build your own code uh, that's substantially different, then there's no problem there. You know, I encourage you to, to take my code and learn from it and build your own codes. Um, what I don't want is people just buying it and then passing it off to people and, you know, I've spent a lot of time building these out and trying to figure out, especially with the, the mobile, trying to figure out how to get that to work. Um, so I've made these affordable for uh, people of any financial background to purchase. And so I ask you, please, uh, please don't uh, sell or share or resell the code. Okay, so that's going to wrap up the video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please reach out to me. There'll be a link to it in the description below. Thanks for stopping by.